hello, my name is Monique, um, or Music Killer Mon, um, and um, I set up this uh, YouTube channel as a way of sort of speaking to people who are feeling similar to how I feel quite a lot of the time. Um, for those of you that don't know me, I am a instrumental and singing teacher, and I also sing. Um, as well and gig and um, one of the things that the reason sort of what spurred me on to sort of having my own YouTube channel and things like that was the fact that a lot of my students in particular um, as well as people that I know friends acquaintances all suffer from some form of mental health problem whether it be anxiety um, depression obsessive compulsive disorder um, bipolar, manic depression, um, there are lots and lots of um, mental health issues that come under the spectrum. Um, mine is, I've got a condition called trichotillomania where I pull my hair out. Um, obviously from the look of my hair now, you'd be like, what? But I hide it very well. Um, and also as an effect of having trichotillomania, I also suffer from anxiety and depression. And um, people often misunderstand that if you are quite bright and enthusiastic and quite a lively character that you can't have depression because all depression all depressive people look really mourned you like very sad and withdrawn um but i'm here sort of to help dispel that myth that um you know depression anxiety any form of mental health issue can hit anyone and I'm sure that you've all seen in the press in the last sort of five years, individuals that have succumbed to um, their mental health um, problems and have decided to end their lives with it. And that's a very sad thing, you know, because the types of, for example, Robin Williams, he was like my favorite comedian all through growing up. Any time I felt horrible or sad during my childhood, I'd watch either Mrs. Doubtfire or Toys or Hook, any film that this amazing actor and comedian was in cheered me up and helped me forget about my problems. And then not only did you realise that he was suffering from his own problems, is that he took his life as well. And so this is not just a way of me singing and people hearing me sing, but this is also a way for you guys to get some joy out of it if you enjoy anything musical um embrace it especially at those times where you might feel a little little bit sad or like you can't go out the front door i've been having ma quite bad anxiety attacks about going to work um because i've been unwell and because i've been unwell and, and that perpetuate that that fear of being more unwell from um, contact with other children or students that are sick and things like that um, it's quite debilitating so basically this is a way for you to to sort of realize that you're not on your own and that there are people um, from various walks of life various situations um, and circumstances that are going through something similar to you and um, on to that note one of the things that I wanted to talk to you about as well, this is now a musical note rather than a sort of a little chat time, um, is singing in the mornings. <gasps> so <clears throat> many of my singing friends will say, no, you don't sing in the morning, you don't. Because your voice isn't warmed up in the same way as it would be if you were warmed up in the afternoon or the evening. That's why we always, as singers, gig in the evening because our voices are warmed up and at their peak so one of the things i just tried to start um singing just any song and i could feel myself look i've got my hot cup of coffee here my throat still feeling a little bit like oh it needs to wake up you've got that that mucus at the back there so it's just about making yourself ready for the day and warming your voice up appropriately um and because it's nearly christmas we should do something like, On the first day of Christmas, my true love said to me, A partridge in a pear tree. Can you hear that gravelliness there? I can, I can feel it as well. So trying to sing in the morning is a very, very hard feat. 
however it's not impossible we just need to make sure that we warm up properly okay anyway have fun today whatever you do um if you're feeling sad or gloomy just put on a song that reminds you of wonderful nostalgia um especially at christmas time i'm at the moment liking sia sia's christmas album every day is christmas um candy cane lane is a really sort of upbeat lifty song that i'm, I'm listening to at the moment so uh have a listen to that and see how it brightens up your day bye